Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm doing a quick little pour, hopefully it's a quick pour, with some colours that I have left over from the, my weekend. Um, I have put this canvas, uh, this round canvas on this oblong canvas and just measuring that it's 50 mils out either side slightly okay it's just I just want to use this as a marker because my just thinking of a composition I want to be a little bit different than I've done before just trying new things I mean it's all been done before but just this particular composition I am um, it's just giving me a guide so my intention is to keep my paint within that and then have negative space on the outside so I've got this little canvas and I've put my um, tape on the back and my push pins they're called giant push pins I know lots of people ask me about them um, they're in the craft supply that I've got on there Capriole Shabby Chic or you can get them from any um, stationery or uh, uh, yeah, stationery store or in any country I believe so so this is what I have left this is what I have left so this is what I'm going to paint with I am going to paint with these colours only and um, yeah, see how we go from there. So, so, so. This is the cool red. They are all the, um, no, this is the warm red. The warm red. They're all global in pasto that I'm using. And the pouring medium and how I mix it is in the drop down box, even a link to the video of mixing the paint for these pores. So you can click on the video also if you want to know. Uh, what I used and what I do to get this particular um, pouring medium. So I'm going to try going around the edge there first and then I'll do some wiggly bits. Wiggly bits. So I hope I'm finding you all well and good um, and that you're not in any stress at all. I know there's so much going on around the world that um, I feel just so sorry for you know so many people that are suffering but um, we've just got to really stay positive haven't we and hope that the craziness ends soon with all things and another so this is the orange in the global and I have got also a fluoro orange so I'm really gonna put some um, citrus in this particular one around my very edge so yeah I don't think I've done this particular composition like this on a canvas so I'm just testing this out because if it works I want to do it on a real big one so you know if I like what how it sort of turns out I'm going to try and learn my lesson from what I did the other day is I piled too much paint on um, then I ended up losing the composition that I wanted. Actually, I might go my, this is the ultraviolet. So this is a beautiful color too. Yeah, let's just do this. Usually when I've got it so full, I don't like tipping it because it then goes all over the place too much. <laughs> So I'm really loving the citrus colours with the purple and crimson tones of late. Um, it's really nice. Okie doke. I'm going to put a bit of silver in here. So I'm keeping this a little bit thicker because it's silver metallic and your metallics seem to sink 
if you don't keep them on the thick side. I'm trying not to put too much paint on because I don't want to tilt this one anywhere otherwise I'm going to lo lose that shape um, I might put now if this is my berry delicious this is my custom color it is either a very dark red or magenta you add a blob of phthalo blue and if you want it to go even darker a blob of black so this looks very black on the canvas but it will come out like quite berry looking berry licious berry licious Okey doke. Right, last colour, believe it or not, is my white. So I'm going to just put a little bit of white in here. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my white around the outside. So looks as though my white might be a bit thick but I'll spread it out see how we go um, it needs a bit more I could add a little bit of water to this white now um, and I think I will I'll just add where's my water yep. just water a little bit of water to just a small amount at a time um, yeah, then it won't go lumpy. Yeah, that seems okay. Let's see what we got with this one. So our next um, day to celebrate will be Valentine's Day, that I think, oh no, in Australia we have Australia Day, I think it's January the 26th, our Australia Day in Australia, so where they, you get a day off work, it's a public holiday, any excuse in Australia for a public holiday, really. <laughs> okay. not too worried about the very sides just yet because I can always go over that with my gloved hand I just want to make sure there's enough paint because I do want to just blow the edges out so it has this pretty soft feathery effect on the edges Oh, some beautiful colour. Stop, stop, stop. Smack my hand. Smack my hand. I, I have just got no stop mechanism in me. Righty -o. What do I want to get? Oh, what did I do? I, went and, I know what I've done. I've gone and put my. Oh no, that's my flow troll. I'll put that in with the paint. I was thinking that I, this is Amsterdam titanium white and flow troll only. And I've got it made up, pretty made up in there. So I'm going to just put a bit of this around my very edges, just that it just seems to create a little bit extra lacing 
Now there's no silicone in these particular pores, so I'm kind of relying on this to give me a bit of lacing. Oh, look at that. Softening it up. Oh, some of this lacing is just beautiful. Oh, itchy nose. So, what I I, I really need to um, tell you this that if you're not a proficient ballooner. Uh, walk away and leave it for maybe an hour depending on the climate condition very warm day here in um, Queensland uh, I have got the air conditioner on and it may work or it may not in that giving you really nice balloon kissing so this is where my balloon magic comes in balloons of all sizes create some lovely lovely effects and we'll just move things out of the way so I don't go and knock things over and let's see how this balloon kissing works today the I've still got some gaps in here but I've got so much paint that I'll use my balloon to spread the paint look at that oh I should definitely definitely probably do some um, acrylic skins with the balloon dips oh look at that but I'm not going to today so if you get this happening you're pushing the balloon in quite firmly and it all falls in and you just get, that's when you walk away or you keep wiping your balloon off and then push it back in the same area then you'll get this gorgeous gorgeous balloon kiss that's a nice big Look at this. So push it back in. So it's the balloon is spreading the paint to those areas that I haven't got any paint in. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really happy. And the other nice little trick that I like to use with your balloon kissing is you start with your big balloon like this and then you know do as much as you would like to do with the your larger balloon and then you can come back in with the smaller balloon in the center of these balloon kisses so you really could be uh, using these balloon to push onto another canvas absolutely it's just that I'm not doing that today when I'm filming I kind of find I need to concentrate on what I'm doing when I'm sort of in here doing some artwork on my own then I definitely would spend the extra time um, pushing that onto another canvas so okie doke it's coming absolutely beautiful and I love the composition that I've got the negative space around the outside just look at that so I'm going to use a smaller balloon and just go inside those balloon kisses inside so it gives another little dimension to your balloon kisses your flowers so they're just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I love this oh my gosh So doing the different size balloons, yeah, it just creates just something 
so special and gorgeous you would not think you know some of finished pieces are, you know a really balloon art which was um, definitely around in kindergarten for my kids and myself so oh that is beautiful wouldn't that look just stunning on a great big canvas with a negative space so I'm going to try some of these different compositions this week um, absolutely love that I hope you like that too let me know what you think guys I've got my new little this is just what I do with this little water balloon it's a normal size balloon I put it over the tap and fill it with a little bit of water just adds that bit of weight to push it in and give some little tiny other little you know just gives a whole different effect again so I want to have some not have to cells so much in the areas that I've left but that is gorgeous I am really 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 happy with that who why wouldn't you hey look I'll bring my camera down and show you this is just stunning now I was thinking when I started that I'd do some little embellishments out with my skewer but I think I've got enough going on. Um, I think that this is a small canvas so it doesn't really need any more busyness. It's busy as it is, but just these little ones, oh, just gorgeous. I love them, absolutely love them. And if you follow my <laughs> YouTube channel you will know how much I love them you can create some absolutely stunning effects and that is beautiful beautiful love it you can even use your little balloon to balloon kiss the side of your canvas not I still want to leave the white so that is gorgeous I'll bring my camera down Okay, here we are. Look at this. Look at this absolutely gorgeous lacing. Hoping that white will just dry flat. But if it doesn't, it's no biggie to have a little bit of textured look in it. Look at these. Go all the way around for you. Absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy with it. Oh, take it up, take it up. There you go. Hopefully you like it too. And I will see you again tomorrow with another pour. So please join me. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. And then you will get notified each time I have a new pour, which is every day, guys, every day. So there you go, that's stunning. I absolutely love it and I hope you do too. So take care and bye for now.